In today's Bite Size CPD video, you're going to hear about four things that young people with mental illness thought every teacher needed to know. You'll hear their ideas in their words and then be given a chance to pause and reflect and think about how you might be able to use these ideas to impact on you and your practice in school. I think it's important to recognise that as students we do have lives outside of school and the lesson with Saturn at that moment might not be our priority and we're probably just as frustrated as you at if we can't make a lesson or if we don't make school in the day. Brilliant. Let's take a moment to reflect on that. What other things might a pupil have on their mind? What do we need to know? And how can we identify and support those pupils who might have a lot going on? So if like you recognise the pattern, if there's a student that's consistently late or consistently doesn't have their homework and there's like two ways to go about it, you can call them out as they walk in, go, you're late, where have you been? And that's really shutting them down straight away. Or you can invite them in, get them to sit down, cause less disruption to your lesson and ask them at the end or go and get them to chat to like, are you actually okay? What does this make a difference in your experience? What would you say are the do's and the don'ts? Um, I think that teachers should have the opportunity to be like trained and educated with mental health, particularly something like mental health first aid, particularly because they're going to be around young people a lot and everyone has mental health. And not only will it help their students, but it can help someone that they know and just like how to help them, how to support them, just educate themselves and mental health in general. What would you like to know more about in terms of mental health training? Pro tip, if you leave those ideas as a comment or drop me an email to pookie at inourhands.com, I can make videos like this one to help you to learn about the topics that interest you. Yeah, if a student doesn't hand in the homework the next day or if it's they're late handing it in, then don't necessarily go up to them and give them a detention or give them like some withdraw them because if you do that you're not going to find out the reason why and because they could have been struggling the night before and fighting for their lives inside their own heads about whether they want to be alive or not anymore so it's really important that you do sort of take into consideration their reasons behind not handing in their homework rather than punishing them for not handing it in. How can we make this work? How do we tread that thin line between kindness and support to those who need it and having really high expectations for everybody? I hope this video gave you a few things to think about. I'd love to hear how it impacts on your practice. Please let me know by leaving a comment on the video. And also, if you have any ideas for future Bite Size CPD topics, please leave those in a comment below too, or drop me an email to pookie at inourhands.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to be kept up to date with new mental health videos every Tuesday and Friday. And if you like my videos, maybe you'd like me even more in person. I do deliver in-school training and I'm very happy to travel. So drop me a line if you'd like me to come along and teach you face to face. Until next time, bye.